Hi, what's up YouTube? It's Dom here from Payday Pickups and I'm back with another video. In today's video, we have episode two of where I go out and I take my Instagram photos on a self timer. If you're new to my channel, this is basically a series where I try and inspire others to get out there and start shooting their fashion content on their own and you don't need to rely on a photographer. And today is gonna be a banger. I've got some creative photos lined up and I've also been sent out a few little bits. So let's jump into the unboxing. I want to drown inside this I, I, I want to drown inside this Go down an eye like I, I, Captain I, 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 I never had a vibe this vibrant Then we're all so shiny with our three eye vision Take this moment, I'ma die inside it I am pariah, I am Mariah Words they carry, don't trust the silence Gotta fill it all so huge shout out to Lacoste and Concepts for sending me out their collaboration sneaker. It's got a few hidden details which I'll show you when I get to the first location. And huge shout out to Remedy for sending me out the two graphic t-shirts. So now I'm gonna pack all of my outfits for the three different fits. We're gonna head on to the location. The location I've planned is just outside of the city center. It's kind of like an outlet village where they sell like, you know, big stores like sofa stores like DFS, gyms like Poundlands, like big supermarkets, etc. It's outside of town, so it shouldn't be very busy. Should not have a lot of people there. And also, I love like the big metallic -y buildings. It'll give me a lot of space to do my photos. And honestly, you're gonna be so gassed to see this first photo. Like the idea, I've wanted to do this for a while. So let's jump into the shoot. Oh, like, 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 like to my phone screen, ultraviolet. This ultraviolence probably need more milk, but it all spills. So another thing which is gonna be a lot easier than my previous video is instead of having to walk around carrying all my like suitcase and my baggage, I have now bought myself a car. So one of my biggest and most expensive purchases, I got myself a Vauxhall Corsa 13 plate and it makes it so much easier because I can just drive to my locations, have all my clothes in there, I can just get changed in the car and just makes the process so, so much quicker. So I've just parked up at location number one. It is right behind me. As you can see, it's just a plain dark gray garage wall. For this first photo, I need the background to be as plain and symmetrical as possible. And what I'm gonna do is basically do a pose where I'm leaning back and then I'm gonna rotate the photo, kind of inspired by this photo right here. And it's gonna look like I'm kind of like walking on the wall. It's like a really sick photo. I'm gonna have to do some stretches beforehand because I'm gonna have to lean back really far. It's gonna do my lower back, but I can't wait to see how this photo turns out. So my outfit for the first photo, we have the Lacoste Concept sneakers on the feet. We have these beige four pocket cargo pants. The beige matches really well with the Lacoste trainers. We have my vintage Marlboro t-shirt, the red hits match with the red hits and the shoes. And then we have the matching Marlboro bag. So we are gonna start with the first pose, which is the hardest one and the one I'm most excited about, which is gonna be a full lean back. So as you can see for this photo, I'm exactly symmetrical with the middle of the wall of this garage. So I've just finished the first pose, the hardest shot out of the bunch, and I think I got it after about 10 to 20 takes. Like my leg was perfectly straight and I wasn't pulling like a like a face, because obviously a lot of the times when I was pulling that push back, I was tensing up my face, it didn't look natural. So I finally got, I think, the perfect shot and I'm so gassed with how it came out. If any of you try it, definitely tag me on my Instagram at down the underscore. But now to jump into more of the details of the shoe. So the cost of sent me out these shoes and now to show you some of the hidden gems. So one of the big hidden gems about this shoe is we have right here is a Velcro patch. And what they did is they made it on the location. So as you can see inside here, there's a zipper in the tag. You open it up, we have, we have all the other locations. So we have Dubai, we have Shanghai, we have Boston, and we also have New York City. So you can obviously mix and match the colors on your shoes. And then the other bits I'm gonna highlight in the photo for the details. We have the Lacoste bit at the back, really nice detailing. And also on this side right here. So we just finished up shooting all of the close-up details of the Lacoste concept shoe. We had the nice bit on the heel tab. We had the nice Velcro patches and also just a nice one holding against a plain background that always stands out really nicely of the sneaker. But one shoe shot which stands out the best is basically when you lie on the floor, you hold your legs in the air, the trainers against a plain background. For some reason, I don't know why, when you're just 
in an upside down position, the shoes just pop so nicely. So we're gonna try this out now. It's gonna be very hard on self timer. Let's give it a go. You don't understand the weirdest looks I'm getting from the people driving past me. They're just thinking like, what is this lad doing on the floor? But when you're doing these things, you're not gonna care what people think because look how good the photo comes out. So for the next shot now, we're doing a sitting shot and I want to show off the outfit as much as possible. I have the bag between my legs to show it off and have my shoes angled a slight bit so you can see the details on the Lacoste shoes, show the pockets of my cargoes. And also, if you remember from the first episode, when you're taking a shot like this, always take it from an angle. It just makes the photo look better. I know the first photo was against a flat background, but that's because it needed to be symmetrical. It doesn't need to be. Definitely take it at an angle and it just makes the photo look so much better. Makes you look bigger and shows off more detail. It looks more professional. Honestly, try it. Do not shoot straight against a plain background because the photo looks flat. Shoot at a slight angle and just get some nice fit picks. So moving on to the final shot, I actually didn't have this one planned. I usually create myself a shot list, but for this one, it just came from like creative instinct. I thought I haven't taken a photo from like a bird's eye view angle and the shoes match really well with the Marlboro bag. So I'm going to take it from a bird's eye view angle and it just adds so much more aesthetic and the different angles to the whole carousel. So just wrapped up outfit number one, we are now going to go on to outfit number two for the second location. Once again, I need to find a symmetrical background. I want it to be a bit lighter than this last kind of garage, like a light grey or a white. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a clone photo, one of me in each of the Remedy t-shirts. So I've just got changed into the second outfit. We have the black and blue Remedy t-shirt. We have the white, blue and red shorts, which match perfectly with the vintage Nike Montreals. And at the second location, I found the perfect little spot. As you can see, a perfectly white background and it has the two white lines. So I can stand one side for the first outfit and then on here with the second outfit, keep the camera in exactly the same position for both the photos and then I can just like rub out the middle and I'll have a nice clone photo. So before I take that clone shot, I'm gonna get some single outfit photos for more content. Basically, I'm gonna take it from an angle again and I really like the blue sign at the top. Color matches perfectly with the t-shirt. When you're taking fit pics, always try and take either against a plain background or something that color matches. It just makes the outfit pop so much more. So here's the full fit and just literally just do as many poses as you're comfortable with until you get the perfect shot. So next up, I think I'm gonna do a half body shot, the close ups, I'm gonna do it sitting on here with the blue sign above me. Just found a spot for location number three, like literally just old like, kind of looks like it's been hit by a car, it's pretty cool. And I kind of like these wooden kind of stacks. There's also one on the floor here. So I'm gonna use this as a little prop to put in the center and then stand with one foot kind of on this. Just finished up shooting both of the two Remedy tees and Remedy outfits and the final outfit is this proper 90s vibe, vintage Adidas track jacket, Tommy Hilfiger oversized track pants and then the chunky Tommy dad shoes. So for this one, I'm just gonna try a cool little edit on it. I'm basically gonna just take a full body photo and then have like a page tear and then have a half body shot of the back of the jacket because that's a nice Adidas equipment splattered on the back. So sometimes in photography, your photos don't go as planned and this final outfit definitely did not go as planned. I personally think it looked a bit tacky. That might have just been my Photoshop skills with the page tear, but I really wasn't happy with it. And that happens sometimes in photography. I'll probably try it again with a different outfit. But now we're gonna jump into the tutorial on how I created the clone on Photoshop. Come tell me what I wanna hear right now. I don't know how I get lit with the lights out All the things on the rap you gon' find out 2 a.m. still working, I'm a night out Got me going young, rolling when I pull it to the crib I was talking, I was smoking, I was rolling at the pit Wasn't joking, no, you know it, now my energy you miss Yeah, now my energy you miss I can't change what you think about me Girl, I was lost, tell me where you found me 
Why do you act different when it comes? Overall, I am gonna wrap up the video there. I hope you all enjoyed the video and gained some inspiration, especially with the first photo with the perspective photography. The reason why I love perspective photography so much is people have to kind of look at it twice and it just adds something different to your feed. Also, if you enjoyed it, be sure to help me out on this channel by hitting that subscribe button. And also, if you want to see more content like this, be sure to follow me on my Instagram. I post usually daily, either one time or two times every single day. It's Adam Hadley underscore. It's basically a daily vlog and I basically showcase all my daily pickups. And if you're new to this channel and want to see more content revolving around men's fashion, be sure to check out my other videos. I do like how-to styles, lookbooks, trip to the thrifts. I even do videos on how to make money and more photography content. So have a nice day and I will see you all in the next one.